check it out in this video we're going to be searching this 2006 ford crown victoria police interceptor it was just recently dropped off and i'm going to show you guys everything she came with let's check out the goodies and equipment if you're new here i'm rick and this is the channel where we search police cars and not the other way around hit that like button let's go all right check out this light bar this is a federal signal argent 52 classic police light bar that you see still active to this day by lapd she's got the lapd color scheme but for some reason this one is shiny and this side is not she's got a spotlight on both sides check it out she's got the full caps with some pretty good eagle rsa police tires corner strobe lights this side is missing i can see the hole there's a federal signal siren speaker federal signal grill lights in there we're gonna remove this grill and get to that here in just a bit see some sort of light right in the middle of the dash and i see some lights in the rear as well I think this one fell over all right got my gloves on let's take a quick look inside there is a bunch of goodies back here we're gonna get to that here in just a bit but check out this sick troy center console i want to put this in my own personal car i'm gonna start by searching from the front and work my way to the back what we have here oh nice blow you blow so this looks like a breathalyzer well that's pretty cool oh this is gross we got handcuffs all right let's push the seat back so we can look under it this type of wooden egg whoa whoa oh looks like it's one of those uh russian dolls a jack-in-the-box wearing a, a mask okay we have a motorola xtl 5000 and we have a federal signal smart siren sm this is uh exactly what lapd uses we're gonna try and get all this thing working here in just a bit this thing is stuck but there's no key so i think the little locking mechanism is stuck in there i'm gonna try to open this here in just a bit what the heck is that hold on hold on is that what i think it is it is <laughs> that's dr fauci why would he have a dr fauci pin that's kind of weird oh check this out we have some some sort of radio telephone camera walkie talkie and it's a flashlight what the heck oh, this one, i think it's dead check it out okay we got our first light let me go ahead and clip that off okay we have a two light dominator super led aa so amber amber i've never seen a two light dominator before by whelan that is pretty freaking cool let's uh let's go ahead and put this thing to the test all right got the jump box got it connected and oh that is dope super bright i think this is supposed to be on the rear not the front dummies okay so look down there that's the smart siren brain almost got away federal signal signal master a twinkie ice latte kind of gross and good at the same time right <coughs> smells pretty clean here usually old cop cars stink not this one emergency light sticks cool if you keep talking trash i'm gonna break your neck like this <laughs> Ooh. master usa it's like a brand new knife dope and we got two of them nice let's see if i got any skills look at that that is some mad skills all right let's take a look on the other side 
damn it. All right. Looks like we have an armrest. Cool. All right, let's take a look under the seat. It's pretty relatively clean. What's this? So this is a eSeq Model 25, like an ID scanner. Maybe I'll add that to the Vegas project. Speaking of, the Vegas project is now about 95% complete. I have the light bar installed, the sirens working like they should, she's tuned up and ready to go. A new video is in the works so stay tuned for that. And congrats to the K9 unit winner Perry Collins of Ogden, Utah and the 2nd, 3rd and 4th place winners. If you didn't win, do not worry, there's another Crown Vague giveaway coming real soon so stay tuned for that. Ratatouille? What the, what the hell is a Ratatouille? What the heck is this? <laughs> oh no, this looks terrible. Look at that face. And the DVDs in here. Bro, this looks so bad that I would just that I just want to watch it. Complete Ratatouille ripoff. In my last video, somebody suggested that I should search behind the glove compartment because they hide biscuits back here. And then this thing dangling right here. Looks like some sort of uh, wireless microphone charger. It's like a mask, a pin mask. Yeah, this looks like a mask. What's this guy's obsession with masks? And Dr. Fauci. And what is what does that say? Oh, science? Ugh. Oh, sweet mother of goodness. This appears to be a yes, a baton. A pineapple grip baton. At least that's what I call it. Oh, I just love doing that. <laughs> Let me find something to hit. Did a clock seriously break a baton? Wow. Nice. Now, does the spotlight work? It does not work. Maybe the car has to be on sometimes. Oh, no. it's just a little loose. That's good news. Something in here. Jeez. Voltage tester plus flashlight, nice. Okay, let's take a look in the back. Oh, hell yeah, the seats are here. So that's a huge, huge, huge plus. Let's go ahead and remove this. Check it out. That is pretty neat. It's a gun rack with a streamlight charger in the middle. Looks like it's for a shotgun and a rifle. It's electronic with the keyholes right there. And it's by Santa Cruz Gun Locks. Nice. Another pack of smokes. It's empty. We have police caution tape. It just says caution, made in China. Some Halloween tape. It doesn't even say police or sheriff on it. All right, let's get the other seat out. Ooh. Ooh. X Sprite. It's like a aftermarket traffic advisor light. And it has a cigarette plug thing. Let's uh, go ahead and connect this. Oh, that is pretty cool. It's really not that bright, but I think it'll probably look better at night. Oh, oh, that was nasty. I just ripped this out. Looks like it's amber, but it's only one way to find out. Let's test it out. But first, let's look on the other side. Okay. We have a salt and pepper shaker antenna. Some sort of antenna here. This looks uh, fairly new. This is by Motorola. Still got the little sticky tape on there. There's the other light. I'm not gonna rip that one out because I don't wanna mess it up. So I'm just gonna leave that there for now. All right, let's test it out. That's sick. Window bars. Okay, let's go ahead and add that to the collection. Uh, it's about to fall over. Okay, so this looks like a triple magazine holder. Flyo Industries? Never heard of him. Looks like this dude smoked a lot of cigarettes 
and looked up to Fauci <laughs> because uh, science, baby, science. <laughs> you know what we haven't done is started this baby up. Let's go ahead and start her up. Oh yeah, for some reason, we gotta wiggle this key around a bit. All right, so she has uh, 104,000 miles, 6,000 idle hours. Let's look under the hood. All right, so she is your typical 4.6 liter V8, and it looks like she has an aftermarket intake manifold. She sounds very smooth. She's clean, dirty, but clean. Let's step on it a little bit. Oh yeah. All right, she drives pretty good. No complaints. I mean, I haven't taken it out in the street yet, so there's no telling. All right, since we're out here, let's go ahead and remove the grill. Really? That's how you install the speaker? With some glue? <laughs> All right, so these look like Federal Signal. I don't see the name on here, but it'll be up here. I'll put it here in the screen. Okay, now that is just too dope. Sick. Oh yeah, so this is before they went to flex fuel. So this takes regular fuel only. All right, I'm gonna install these seats back on here. But first, let me wipe and clean all this real quick. Nice and shiny. And she's on. I'm gonna wipe her down one more time. I might have to swap out this seat if I can't get this closed. It's getting dark already and look at that. Okay, so now let me give you guys the lowdown on this car. This was a former movie car used in a local production by Channel 83 Films. I met the production designer, Adam Dietrich, who actually delivered this car himself. I'll leave a link to some of their work. Some of you guys will remember the other car I got from them a while back. And I do have some exciting news I'll tell you guys at the end of the video. Let's continue our search. All right, guys, so I was trying to get this to light up, but it's just not working. Pretty sure you need special connectors. All right, let's check the trunk. Yo, what do we have here? Yo, that is sick. A digital eyewitness, custom signals, okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen these before. Right up here like that. No wonder the dome light is missing. It's got a camera right here. It's a screen. The other camera goes right there. Custom signals, overhead, eclipse, dope. And there's a speaker on there too. This is basically a radar, backup camera, dash cam, DVR, all put together. Nice. Okay, bunch of money everywhere. That's weird. None of this is actual US money, like Mexico, Republic of Cuba. It's a Cuban quarter. What is this? Yo, this is a money counter. No way. Are you freaking serious? You know, like the ones you see on the rap videos, it's a stack of cash just coming down. Bam, bam, bam. That is sick. What the heck is this? It's like a scale maybe? Money counter. That is dope. I really, really hope it works. <sighs> a little dusty, so I'll just take it home and find out. Money counting machine up. My dude. <laughs> yes, Roman candles absolutely illegal in california it's only illegal if you get caught uh it's handheld marine red signal flare oh nice oh, Alright, so I got these special angled 
pliers here to get in there and twist this off. Yeah. Gloves, berries, flashlight. Yeah. Oh, sh Dude, check it out. It's a Taser Strike Light 2. This is sick. Oh, it gets me every time. Let me clean this up real quick. Come on, sticky. Okay, guys. So, check this out. This is dope. I didn't even know the Taser makes this. Made another Strike Light. It's a Strike Light 2. So, um, if I push this button right here, it changes the brightness and it even flashes red. Um, now, if I push this up and then I push the button in the back, it makes an arc. <laughs> that is, guys, that is freaking loud. <laughs> okay, let's test out the taser strike. So at first, it's the red light so it doesn't mess up your eyes too much and the first one is pretty bright but it gets even brighter look at that bam this thing is pretty cool and then of course so let's say you went for a late night hike and some creep tries to milk your goodies good night buddy <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm going to make a part two to this video. I'm going to rebuild this vehicle into a LAPD squad car. Yes, since the Vegas project is basically almost done, now it's time to start the LAPD project and put it all together. So part two to this video is coming real soon. Stay tuned. Hit like, subscribe, leave a comment, share the video. I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, peace.